Hey guys, it's Raya. So for this week's video, I asked you to ask me a bunch of questions on Twitter and on the comments in my last video, and I put together some of my favorite ones, and I'm going to answer them for you. So let's get started. Pete Hall asks, have you kept slash are you still working on your New Year's resolutions? So if you haven't seen my New Year's resolutions video, I will link it up here. But basically I talked about um, how my one main goal for the year is to focus on loving myself and respecting myself more. And it, I think it's something that I'm never really going to like accomplish, it's something I have to keep working on for the rest of my life basically, but having it as a goal and like consciously reminding myself to do so has definitely helped because when I have moments of weakness it's like I kind of snap myself out of it and I'm like no you can't be mean to yourself just remember that you're working on this and it like helps me get through it so yeah it's something I gotta keep working on but it's going pretty well so far I guess Sylvia asks what's your dream travel destination so my like number one dream travel destination has been Costa Rica for the past I don't know like three years or something and I don't even know what started it but to me, when I go to Costa Rica, I'm just gonna like live in a tree house by the beach and just like surf all day, even though I don't know how to surf, but I'm sure as soon as I get to Costa Rica, I'll be really good at surfing and I'll be tan and happy and I feel like everyone there is just happy. And I just read an article that Costa Rica like isn't using any fossil fuels, I think. It's like 100% sustainable energy right now, which is awesome. It just seems like everyone is just happy and chilling and tan and that's where I want to be. So yeah, that's my number one dream destination. Hopefully I'll get there this year. BeanieMan62 asked, what are some of your major goals in life? Um, I guess major goals would be to find something that I really love and something that I wake up like wanting to do career-wise. I want something that's related to making the world better, so I don't know, I haven't quite figured out exactly what I want to be doing, but I want to know that I'm making a difference with whatever I'm doing. And family-wise, I definitely want a family, I want kids and a dog, and but I don't think I want like the white pick fence kind of family, I don't think that's really for me. I want to like travel all the time. I've moved so many times and to be honest I love it, like I'll totally be moving my kids around and showing them the world and stuff, so, but definitely kids. and. Yeah, I don't know, I just want to be happy and I want to make the people around me happy. I don't care about like making tons of money or anything like that, I just want happiness and love, basically. Dana asked, what's one thing you miss most about Bulgaria? I miss my family, I have like all my grandparents and cousins and aunts and uncles and stuff, everyone's still there, so I miss them, I haven't seen them in a while. Um, I really miss the food as well. My grandparents grow like all their own fruits and vegetables and stuff and they're so good. I remember when I first came to America and I like tried a tomato here and I was like, this is not a tomato, it tastes like plastic. And that's just kind of true because like, I don't know, the food in Bulgaria is so good. Not just the fruits and vegetables but like everything that you cook. Oh. Maybe I'll do some like Bulgarian recipe videos or something. That'll be fun, because I love Bulgarian food. Ooh, this is an interesting one. So Will asked, if a stranger gave you a book and you started reading it and realized the book was about your life, would you finish it? So I would definitely not finish it. I don't know, I just don't want to know what's gonna happen. I feel like it's gonna affect the way that I live my life now. If something really bad's gonna happen to me or something, I would not wanna know that. I'd wanna live every day until then just like happy and loving life and hoping that my life is gonna be awesome. So yeah, I definitely wouldn't keep reading it. Um, but that's a really interesting question. So let me know down below what you would do because I feel like this is one of those things that's like, some people are like definitely yes or definitely no. So yeah, let me know what you would say. Monica asked, what's that little thing that makes you instantly happy? My puppy, probably, the sun. I don't know if you can see, but like it's super sunny out right now and it's beautiful. And whenever I wake up and I see that it's sunny and I like play some Bob Marley and I'm just like, I just can't help but smiling. It's like the best way to start the day. Um, also, chocolate. Chocolate makes me happy and fruit. I love fruit, it's like my favorite food. And yeah, I think I think I was supposed to say one thing, but I cheated, <laughs> sorry. Okay, this is one of my most asked questions by far, but um, Jana asked me, what did you study at university? So I studied social and cultural studies, which was an awesome course at Goldsmiths University of London because basically we got to choose 
like any classes that we wanted from all these other majors. So I chose the like most fun classes from like anthropology and sociology and history and journalism and like all these really fun things that I didn't really know if I wanted to commit to one of them. This course was perfect because I just chose the most fun classes out of everything. So yeah, it was really, really fun. And I was thinking of doing like a college experience slash advice video. So let me know if you want to see that because I think that'd be really fun to film. Matt Gallagher asked, you said you attended boarding school, what was that like? And this question was asked a lot as well. Boarding school was incredible. I went to boarding school when I was 14. So like during that age where you like don't want to be home and your parents are annoying and stuff, you don't live with your parents, you live with your best friends. My roommate and I pushed our beds together and every night we had like five of our friends just sitting on our bed chatting about our day and talking about boys that we liked and it was seriously a sleepover every single day. It was, oh my gosh, it was probably still like the best three years of my life consecutively so far. But life is pretty great now too, but boarding school was so much fun. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it was awesome. Lily Lane asked me, what's it like living with the awesome Lily Lane? Also, pick one as your motto and explain why. Hakuna Matata or YOLO? Well, Lily Lane, living with you is really fun and yeah, I love it. We have tons of fun together and we just like dance all the time and it's awesome. And between Hakuna Matata and YOLO, oh, that's so hard. I think I would choose YOLO because I love Hakuna Matata and Lion King is like one of the best movies ever made but you only live once is such a like powerful statement for me and it totally helps me like push myself to do things that I would normally not do or try new things and I don't know just remembering how like short and precious life is totally makes me like want to go out and live life and like have adventures and experience new things and yeah, it's totally something that I think about a lot and that helps me like live a life that I want to be living. Sorry if it's super loud by the way, but I live in New York and there's kind of nothing I can do about it. Feed Your Soul asked, have you ever been in love? Um, I have, I've been in love twice, once in high school and once in college. And FYI, a lot of people are like, how can you be in love twice? Because surely when you fall in love the second time, you realize that the first time was like just puppy love or whatever. And to me, like both the times that I was in love was so different. It was a completely different feeling because love is so subjective to like the relationship you're having with that one person. So like when I loved my high school boyfriend and then loved my college boyfriend, it was like totally different feelings and they're not even comparable. I wouldn't say one is like more or better than the other or anything like that. And to me it's like if at the time I felt that I was in love, then it was love. It doesn't matter if like 20 years later I'm like, oh no, I didn't know what I was talking about, that wasn't love. Like no, that was love at the time and I'm sure when I get married that will be like a totally different kind of love and again it won't even be comparable but I still think that it counts as love anyway. Alright, I've got one question from YouTube as well. So RA Fashion DI, I don't know how to say your name, sorry. Um, she asked, Raya, what's your favorite song or artist at the moment? Nogo Pozlevi of Vegas. So first of all, Nogo Pozlevi means like greetings kind of in Bulgarian. Um, my favorite song or artist at the moment. Okay, I'm like super uncool when it comes to listening to music and stuff. I still listen to like really old songs that I like just because I don't care about what's like hip or cool. But um, recently I've been obsessed with John Mayer again. I love John Mayer and his songs just like make me happy. And Bob Marley makes me happy. And Sam Garrett makes me really happy. Um, Beyonce obviously. I've been listening to, I don't know if you heard, she did like a tribute to Stevie Wonder. Her and Ed Sheeran sang this song together and it was unreal. I honestly just like keep re-watching that YouTube video of their performance and that's like been on repeat for the past five days for me so I'll link that down below if you haven't seen it but it's amazing it's like so much soul in one video I love it okay well I don't know how long this video is gonna be I think I like rambled on for quite a bit but thank you guys so much for watching and if you haven't seen my get to know me video I answered a bunch of questions that I picked out a couple of months ago I think so I will link that like here I don't know when youtubers do that and like a thing pops up I'm gonna do that here 
Um, so check that out if you want to get to know me better. And I hope you enjoyed this. And ask me more questions down below because this was really fun and I want to do more. So ask me questions and I'll save my favorite ones for my next video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! So I read a quote recently by Jim Ron who said, You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And I've really been thinking about that and trying to evaluate who I surround myself with and what kind of influence they have on me.